Whoa. And now let's go ninja style fire. I missed. I had one shot and I missed. No. Oh, I messed up. That would have been the coolest shot ever, though. Welcome back to People Playground. Now, this building right here is filled with a gang. These guys have been committing crime across the city, and now something needs to be done about it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this rope right here, and we're going to attach it to this guy. Now, these guys are extremely skilled and know exactly what they're doing. This man right here, he has trained his entire life for this exact moment. So the plan of action here is he's going to swing down, smash through the glass, and take down the enemies. All right, let's do this. Activate slow motion. Go for it, buddy. Yes. This has to work. Right. Now we have to do a swing in there. That's it. Oh. Oh, no. You've gone, you've gone too far. Wait. Why is the rope extending? The no. Why is the rope doing that? Oh, no. You're on the wrong floor. Dude, what are you doing? He's still going down. Oh, I think he might, he might be dead. Okay. You know what? Why don't we start from the bottom and work our way up? I think that might work out a little better. So we have here a breach hammer. So all he has to do is smash through the glass and take out this guy. We have been authorized to kill on site. So anyone inside this building will be killed. Okay, here we go. And oh, that worked pretty well, but I got glass in my leg. Okay, fellas, let's move in. Let's go. Let's go take out the target. Let's do this. Yep, special forces, 100%. There we go. Nice. This guy's got a shield. He's not really doing anything right now. Okay, I've moved the guy with the shield. And now let's take out the target. Target neutralized. I should mention, we've also got some guys over here. They are just like getting ready just in case, you know, anything bad happens. So if we lose any members, they can step in. Even though technically we already have two men down. I've had another plan. Right, there's guys that are high up in the skyscraper and it's hard to get them. So I'm hoping I might be able to get a shot on a couple of them with this guy. Hang on, let me try this, shall we? Okay, no, that's, that's not working. We don't have a clear shot on any of the targets. Unless... Wait, this might be a really bad idea. I have a charge. Now, the question is, will this entire building fall down if I detonate this? Let's find out, shall we? We need to get to this level right here and take these guys out. Oh, here we go. Yes, we're through. Okay, this is good. Right, I've planted another one right there. This should do the trick. Guy with the shotgun, get ready. Here we go. And fire. Oh, Okay, we can't get a clear shot just yet. Building is wobbling all over the place. Oh, no. Oh, this doesn't look too good. They're firing back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. What happened? How did he die? Did he shoot himself in the face? Okay, we got another man down. Medic! Well, we can't really get a medic here. We did, uh, we did arrive by helicopter. I reckon one more charge should do the trick. I mean, I don't see why not. Here we go. Get ready. Hopefully, I'm not too close to it. And okay, we are pretty much right there. Here's the bad guy. Let's throw in a flashbang. There we go. Whoa. And now let's go ninja style fire. I missed. I had one shot and I missed. No. Oh, I messed up. That would have been the coolest shot ever though. Imagine that. I just do like a front flip and then snipe him in the face. Okay, well, we've got one bad guy down. Well, technically two because of the guy at the bottom as well. But we have lost way more men than they have. Remember, these guys are supposed to be trained. <laughs> you know what, guys? Fall back. Oh. <laughs> is he okay? I don't think he is. I think he's bleeding out. Hang on. I have an idea. Here, take this. That might help out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. He's fine. I probably should have <laughs> came in that earlier. All right, fellas, get out of the building because clearly there is only one way of us completing this mission. We need to take down the entire thing. I mean, yes, it might be a waste of a building, but I think it's the only option we have. We're losing too many men. Everyone now is a safe distance away. Let's set up the charges and let's blow this place up. Okay, here we go. I've got one over here and another one on this side. Let's just try and detonate them at the same time. And here we go. This has to work, right? Surely the whole building is coming down. Oh, oh no, it didn't go down. A shard of glass hit one of my men though. They're okay. Instead, if we put on the floor above, now this should work. I really hope it does anyway. It has to, surely. There's no way it's going to stand up from this. Oh, there we go. It's going down. Yes. I hope the building doesn't fall on us. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. This mission couldn't have gone more wrong today. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, special forces, is it? I don't think so. Bunch of phonies. In fact, if we go ahead and look at who has survived here, I think more of the bad guys have survived. So we've got one bad guy here, another one there, there, there. Uh, yeah, so I think four bad guys in total survived. And now let's see how many of my men survived. It looks like two and only two. <laughs> Oh, man, we messed up big time. We have now been authorized to send in a nuclear bomb. Does that sound like a bit too much? Because I don't think so. Here we go. Detonate. Yes. Finally, we've taken out the gang. They will no longer be committing any crimes anytime soon. Moving on from the special forces stuff, I have gone ahead and downloaded a new map. This is called liquids map and it literally just features a bunch of different liquids so we have acid i believe lava water um actually i think that's all the liquids on here but it's all done pretty fancy and pretty strange so if we put this guy in here as you can see he's completely fine at the moment at least i think he's fine right yeah he seems okay but if we go up a little higher this is now acid i believe so he should start corroding yep look at that there we go oh that is epic so this is a really cool map but maybe the strangest thing about this map is this right here for some reason they have decided to add a spongebob segment so yeah spongebob water <laughs> there's the crusty crab and we could just have like ragdolls in there with spongebob is there a spongebob mod by any chance i'm not too sure maybe we can get patrick in here that would be pretty cool Ooh, what's this over here it looks like we have like a fish tank but i think it's acid instead let's uh let's find out shall we is it acid is it acid here we yes it is look at that oh that is glorious okay so in the other map that i played in the last video the diver couldn't actually survive the acid anymore so let's see if he can survive it on this map right here here he is here's our diver all right buddy and you get let's see if you can survive this map oh he's struggling is he is he okay nope he can't survive this acid either i don't know what it is maybe it's something to do with the other map Maybe the divers had a bit of an update. I'm not too sure. But the suit did at one point protect him. And now look at him. Disgusting. Oh, we landed in the other acid. I'm guessing this is also acid. Let's find out. Oh, wait, we can dip their toes in it. Yes. Here we go. Is it working? Yeah, I'm just going to assume everything on this map that is green is, in fact, acid. But let's do a little test. Let's move this guy over here. I want to see if someone can make it to the other side and survive. Here we go. He's walking in acid right now. Come on, buddy. If you're quick, you might actually be able to survive. No, he's fallen over. Get up, dude. All you have to do is go to the other side and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, yep. You know what? Game over. He didn't make it across. I actually had hope for him there because if you're quick enough, you, you should be able to make it, I think. Right, let's just let's move you out of there, shall we? SCP-096. I believe he can make it to the other side, even though he has now fallen over. The reason I think he can make it is because he should be able to regenerate. Hang on a minute. Oh, Oh, no, it looks like this SCP-096 cannot regenerate. This is a different mod, so... Um, wow, look at that. We finally killed SCP-096. The acid worked. Yay! Oh, pile of dead bodies. This was meant to be. This is the underwater pressure testing. I've used this contraption before, but this is the first time I've used it in acid, so this should be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead, turn on the monitors here so we can actually see their heart rate. And uh, let's go ahead and drop them in and see what it's like. Okay, that was quick. Bring them back up quick. Bring them up, bring them up. That's really slow. Why Why can I not bring them back up? And now they are all dead. I tried to bring them back up, but it doesn't seem to, to work. Am I doing something wrong? Maybe I need to hold it? Nope. Okay, now we can bring them up. Yeah, there we go. Let's turn these off. Yeah, just a little bit too too late there yeah so this might seem a little weird we have dr bob here scp-173 finn and a guy in a hazmat suit so let's see what happens here i'm gonna assume that it won't have any effect on 173 here i don't know why i've hooked him up to a wire reaver because it won't work but let's uh let's go ahead and dunk them in shall we so let's set it to this one down they go and uh let's quickly bring them back up and let's see what happens oh look at that the heart rate went really rapidly high up so i'm guessing that's the adrenaline kicking in and uh they seem stable now well this guy actually seems to be knocked out but he is still alive he's doing okay um everyone is just fine let's try this again let's go ahead and 
and dink them in a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then bring them back up. Come on. Oh, look at their legs. The legs are going a little bit, as you can see. But they're all okay. They're all doing all right. Not too bad. Back down you go. I like to uh, put them in for a little while and then quickly bring them back up just to make sure. Just so we can really do the experiments here. Oh, no. Dr. Bobby's still alive. Four, three, two, one. And he is now dead. So yeah, I was right about SCP-173. I mean, the dude is literally like concrete, right? So he's completely fine. But the rest of them didn't really stand a chance. I don't know. I was kind of hoping that the guy in the hazmat suit maybe <laughs> might be okay. Uh, but I guess not. Look at that. That's crazy. Just the way I dunked them in. So it's only really got the legs and the arms a bit. But their bodies are completely fine pretty much. Kind of anyway. This shouldn't be too bad of a way to go. Because I have this guy right here. He is on the edge right now. Looking into lava. Now I've drained some of his blood. And we're going to go ahead and inject him with this stuff right here. Which I'm hoping will just knock him out. And then he's going to fall just straight into the lava. Oh, whoa. That worked really quick. But I didn't fall into the lava. Well, at least I'm being humane, right? And he's now knocked out. Down you go. <laughs> Let's see him. How's he doing? Is he okay? Uh, Yes, he is completely fine. Oh, man. Yeah, I haven't actually checked out all the flasks yet from this mod. I did it in the last episode as well. I think that's the first time I've used that one, though, but it'll be good to have that. Let's just keep that on the side. And let's also drain his blood. We don't need that anymore. Ultra Strength Flask. Let's try this. I don't think by him having that will actually make him survive the lava, but you never know. We have to find out. Okay, and... Oh, he's becoming stronger. Yes. I don't know why becoming stronger would make you <laughs> invincible from lava. Let's just dip him in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> He looks like he's got chicken legs now. Look at that. Let's just dip him dip him in a little bit more. Is he okay? Okay, so even though this is the liquids map, I want to see what it's like with these stairs right here. So I've set up a little... Uh, I don't even know what this is. Some sort of weird vehicle. Anyway, I've got this guy in there. He's going to go ahead and just floor it down the stairs. And let's see if he can survive. There's only one thing I need to give him, and that's a helmet. There we go. Right, he's all strapped in. Ready to go. What do you reckon? Will he survive? Let's find out. And activate. Down we go. Come on. Oh, oh hang on a minute. Wait, what? They don't even work like stairs. Oh, no. Oh, he went straight to the acid. No. I genuinely was not expecting that to happen. How could the stairs not work? It's more like a ramp. There's no, like, physics or hitboxes to it. Why did it have to be the acid? Why couldn't it have been the water next to it? We would have been fine if we landed in that. I mean, granted, the lava wouldn't have been good either. But yeah, how could that not work? I do wonder what Cartoon Cat will be like in acid. Can I get them through this gap? Hang on. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Whoa, they're being electrocuted. Okay, look at that. Interesting. I mean, other than that, I don't think they're going to like corrode or dissolve or anything like that in the acid. I think it's just going to case of them literally being electrocuted like that so yeah let's go ahead and pull out cartoon cat out you come here we go yeah see completely fine anyway on that note i'm gonna end this one right here there's another video on the top right so make sure you go ahead and check that out also don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll hopefully see you in that video right there goodbye <laughs>